Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna show you the most comfortable e-bike and bike seat for heavier riders. Stick around. All right, so today I'm gonna show you the most comfortable bike and e-bike seat for heavier riders. Before I do, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we do, and of course, new product releases. All right, so with me here today, I have Stella and Arden, and um, they are gonna demonstrate or try out or test out what I believe to be the most comfortable bike seat for heavier riders. Uh, Stella, tell us your height and your weight. I'm 5'7 and a half, and I'm 250 pounds. Okay. And Arden, how about you? I'm 5'10", 300 pounds. Cool. A lot of bike seats out there, very narrow cut. Um, if you're a racer or a road cyclist, those are great if you're looking for ergo ergonomics uh, or aerodynamics, sorry, aerodynamics, but not always going to be the most comfortable thing. And they take a while to get your sit bone um, adjusted and comfortable with those seats. Now, if you ride every day, you can use a thin seat. And like I said, over time, your body will adjust and they will become more and more comfortable. But if you're a recreational rider or you know, you're on the bike every day, but you're not doing aggressive rides, you want something that you just get onto and it's very, very comfortable. And the reality of most grown adults is, you know, we are not uh, ultra, ultra slim where a lot of products are catered to. So at 630, we listened to our rider base and we came out with the Super Max Cush saddle that I'm gonna show you in a second. Now, we have our standard seat here, which is ultra comfortable as well, but we've gone even larger and we're gonna see how Arden and Stella feel on that and what they think the difference is and which one they feel better to them. So, the, the, the standard 630 seat right here, just to give you some perspective, this comes, this is about nine and a half inches wide. And when you're talking about like racing saddles or road bike saddles, you're probably talking about less than half of that. You're talking about like three inches wide, four inches wide. So this is already a wide saddle and we've got a few other options as well, but the Super Max Kush is really the mecca of it all. And the Super Max Kush is 14 and a half inches wide. So it's gonna give you a lot more coverage, more, uh, more space for your rear to sit on and just overall not, you know, not sticking up your butt like a lot of seats do. So let's go ahead and have Arden, why don't you hop on this one and just sit on it and see how it feels when you sit down on it. Oh, wow. You like that one? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Good perspective. Now, Stella, why don't you jump on this one? We need the seat lower or are you good there? Let me see. Whoa. Yeah, that's... I think I need a little bit more. With? With. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So let's now have you, Arda, move on to this one. So now this is a Supermax Kush without the backrest. Oh, wow. <laughs> Feel better? It's, yeah. yeah. It's like, like uh, hang out in front of the TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing too is when you, and so you can go ahead and get off. When you get off this one, you can actually, there you go. Yeah, it's yeah. A, with the step through frame. All right, Stella, go ahead and try this one. And same thing, you can step onto the frame, make it a little bit easier, so you don't have to, or you could do that too. Oops, here, let me tighten down the seat a little bit. Sorry, get off real quick. Get off, get off. Uh, let's see, you can stay right there. Now it's a quick release, we can really easily adjust that. Okay, try that. And I can lower the seat if you need it a little lower. Oh, yeah, that's better. There's more cushion in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You like that better. I like this better. Okay. Now let's move on to our third option. So both definitely, would I say you prefer the Super Max, this one over the first one? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this one now. So now this one has a backrest. See how you like that. Ooh. Can you feel the backrest like a little bit? Yeah, I can feel a little bit. Yeah, I feel support, <laughs> okay. support where I need it. <laughs> cool, and we'll have you do a test ride in a second. Okay. Now let me make sure the seat's tight as well. 
it should be. Okay, Arden, go ahead and try that one. The step is really nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very nice, very comfortable. Can you feel the backrest? Oh, definitely. Cool. Yeah, nice that little support there as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And we can actually raise and lower this too, if you want it like lower, um, want the support lower or higher. Nice. Maybe down lower might be try. Okay, so let's try this now. Let's have Arden go ahead first, and sure. we'll take a test ride on this bike really quick. Okay, so go ahead and just do a little lap in the parking lot. You got it. I probably should have asked, have you ridden an e-bike before? No, no, it's my first time. <laughs> okay, all right. So how it works is you have something called pedal assist. Mm -hmm. You have gears one through five here, and or it's not gears, sorry, assistance levels. So you're in one. So when you start pedaling, you're gonna feel the assistance kick in. It's just like riding a bike. Uh, you have a throttle here as well. If this is in anything above zero, this throttle will be active and able to be used. So if you push this with a thumb throttle, don't do it while you're standing here. Okay. Uh, when the brakes are engaged, it cuts the throttle anyways. Um, but you can do that like a motorcycle as well. So okay. up to you. So you can just yeah go up here, make a loop and come back, see how it feels. Got it. Okay, not too bad. Felt pretty Great. good. Great. Okay. All right, so go ahead and jump off this one. Okay. We'll have him move and then we'll run you through too so he can get the quick experience of feeling one and the other. So this is the same, same deal. Um, when you pedal, it's gonna kick in. So go ahead and see what you think. We can lower the seat if you want it lower. No, it's good. Okay. Now, does that feel more comfortable? Definitely more comfortable. <laughs> Do you like having the wider space for you to sit down on? Absolutely. I mean, it's. I mean, it just adds a little more support, a little more cushion. Yeah. And uh, this makes the. Uh, I mean, it's already a nice experience as it is, and just makes it even better. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's try the last one then with the backrest and see what you think. Sure. Oh, wait, here, let's go ahead and turn it on. Yeah. Yep, just hold this down. Okay. There you go. Can you feel the support? Definitely. And it's nice to have a little something in the back. So you prefer, obviously, the bigger over this one. It feels more comfortable. Sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then um, do you prefer the backrest or no backrest? Well, I think there, there, there would definitely be times. I, I'm definitely glad that it would be there. Um, there there's times, times, like, to your point where you could maybe lower it. And uh, it, it, I would definitely want it there. Yeah? So, okay, yeah. fair enough. Even if sometimes I might be leaning forward. So, yeah. Cool. All right, Stella, you ready? Okay, so we're all set up. Woohoo! <laughs>
Okay, option one. How's it feel all in all? Uh, this is average for me because the, the seat is hurting my hoo-ha. Okay. And <laughs> all right, so, so let's... I wouldn't want to do it for a long time. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. All right, let's move on to this one. I see a bigger smile. So does it feel better? This feels much better. <laughs> the parking. That's okay. You can stop right there. Okay. All right. So let's get you on the last one okay. with the backrest, and I'll try to lower it down just a touch. See how that feels right there. Oops, wait, did the seat? Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me tighten this a little more. Okay, see if that's good. Can you feel the backrest? Yes, I can feel the backrest. Looks like. Okay. I like that. I would have it up higher for me. Oh, this up higher? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Like, like up there? Yeah, and that. Will give me the support that I need. Let me make sure. You want to try one more time? Okay. Let's see if you feel it better like that. Yeah, that's much better. Better? Yeah. Now, do you think you prefer it with or without the backrest? I prefer with it so that I can, if I have back issues, so that I can rest. Lean back a little bit? Yeah, that lean back and, get and the support. support me while I rest. Beautiful, I like and, that. Yeah. I want to show, I don't know if we, let's do this too. I think the important thing, so you can see with the wider seat, the important thing is, not a lot of products are geared for or are geared mainly for slim and average size people. So what we try to do is make a seat that's going to really have a wider base to crater, cradle, um, uh, you know, varying degrees of uh, width. Because I think when you have a narrow seat, it's not going to accommodate everyone. So we actually, we have other seats as well that uh, small, medium, large, extra large, different widths or wider widths for each one of those seats. But I want to show why so. You can just, Arden, if you mind getting on this seat first. Sure. When we look at it from this way, you can see he's got, you know, leg hanging over the sides. That's going to cut into your leg and not be comfortable. Now, again, for a lot of riders, that may be fine. So it's really about finding the size that's best for you. And comfort also, it's not necessarily about your size, big, small, medium. Uh, it's about what is going to work for your body type. And to be honest with you, 
somebody who is 130 pounds may also pre uh, prefer this because of their bone structure, their hip structure, things of that nature. So it really depends on what feels best on your leg. So you can see now he's got a lot of leg overhanging. There's not a lot of support. Now let's try this one. Sure. Now you can just see right there alone how much more it's covering for him and how much more he's sitting on the seat and cradling. And you can also see with the, the sides coming up, it's just giving him more support, making it what I believe to be more comfortable. Am I right? Well, we said that already. Definitely more comfortable. Yeah. Um, and I think part of that too is instead of the seat cutting you off, inside the middle, this is really coming around the edges to give that support as you know you need to make it feel more comfortable. Stella, do you mind hopping on as well to this one? This one? Yeah, just to show the difference in the support that you get from these saddles. Okay, same thing. So now we'll see. Okay, now if you wanna go ahead and get on this one. And there you go. And if you just sit back, there you go. And you can see, especially with that back piece where it has the little bit of coming up on the sides, it really, um, finding the right words to use here, <laughs> I would say cups your rear. Um, and it, it just gives that added support on the edges so you're not falling off or hanging off the sides, right? Um, and that's something we added in there. You can go ahead and get off. So. Again, not only is this the Supermax Kush great for heavier riders, I think certain riders just period, if you want something that's gonna give you that width so it's gonna support uh, your rear while you're riding, that is a great option. Um, our standard seat here is a great option as well. It doesn't have as much width, so it really depends on your body type, what you're looking for. But I think our riders today would agree that the Supermax Kush is a really great option for heavier riders. If you have any other questions about it at all, um, actually, before we go, I just wanted to show real quick on camera, just to do a side-by-side -side comparison. And again, this is our, our standard seat at nine and a half inches is, is already an oversized cruiser saddle. So if I'm putting these two side-by-side, -side, you can see that our Super Max Kush is about double uh, the width of this one. So there you go. It really trumps it. So again, if you have any other questions about the Supermax Kush saddle or with the backrest, back, backrest option, which both riders actually seem to prefer, uh, shoot us an email, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And if you're in the market for a great seat, Supermax Kush on our website, 630.com. And before you buy, if you want to get other riders opinions and how they like the seat go to our facebook peddlers group you can ask them questions see how they like it if they're already using it so thanks for sticking around and don't forget it's your journey your experience enjoy the ride <laughs>